hi there once again welcome to my channel in today's tutorial we're going to learn how to create a website mockup in photoshop so you can use your own techniques to create this and that's what i'm going to teach you in this particular tutorial so stay tuned for this remember to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming video tutorial so i'm going to show you how to do this and the first thing you need to do is to download a, a laptop so you just have to open your browser and then search for you just have to search for a laptop in your browser and then you download it it's going to just go to image option and then look for any laptop of your choice that you want to use just click on it right click on it and go towards save as and then save it onto your desktop i've already saved this and can see if i've opened this in photoshop so i'm going to show you how you can use that and then once you have this in photoshop i'll turn this off i'm going to show you how you can include your website mockup one you can represent this on your screen so once you have this perfectly placed all you need to do is now to get the website i want to use for the mockup so i'll go to my browser again and you can see i have a website here i have my personal website as well so i'll just decide which one to use and then after you decide which website you want to use for the mockup all you need to do is to what take a screenshot of that and i'm going to show you how to take a screenshot of your website even though you have a key on your keyboard that's say print sc which you can use to print screen you can make it simple by going to a search bar here at the bottom right just type snapping to just type snapping to when you open the sniping to the sniping to will allow you to be able to capture the screen so you can see once you open just click on new and then drag across the screen you want to capture so just drag across neatly like this okay let me just do it again let me have it well captured so go to new and then select across where you want to capture and if you're okay then you re release your mouse if you're okay with the screen you want just release your mouse and it to open it within the snapping tool just now go to file save as and then you can save it anywhere at all i've already saved this onto my desktop already so you can see that over here so maybe i can just replace it it's the same thing but you can save it with any name of your choice remember to subscribe if you are new to this channel i have so many tricks techniques coming up on this channel and you can't miss that so now that we have this we can go ahead and then bring our image and then we can start the main process so let's see how we can bring this picture let me open if i have a duplicate of this let me just close this i'll close this and let me also close this i need enough space to work with so let me just close the image that i'm not using okay so let's go back and then bring our picture back onto our screen we can just go to file can go to file and then go to what embed place embedded so click on place embedded and i will select that from our desktop and i have it here just double click and then you can see i have this image right here place on top of my design okay you can just hit enter to confirm this so just click on the check icon and i have this image i'll select the zoom and then i'll just zoom in a bit because i want to have a perfect edges to work with okay have a perfect edges to work with so i can use my move to and then move my image around okay so we can start this by dragging across and then we can place this image perfectly at the edges that we want so all we need to do is that we go to file and go to all and that transform we select for distort so that's what we want to use and it's going to make our work so perfect so go to the edges of your image and first we're going to go to the left top corner and then just drag it onto the corner of your screen where we want to position it if you are okay just release your mouse and then we'll move back to our right corner as well okay so we can just drag this as well onto the screen let me just move so that we, we make sure we place it at the right part so you, i'm just going to drag this and make sure i place this at the far corner of my screen okay just do that for the bottom as well so we're going to drag this down and then we'll also drag that's the bottom right 
just drag it i zoom this in because i want to make it i want to make sure my placement is perfect okay so just move it drag the scroll bar around so that you can make, you can get a perfect placement for your image so we just go ahead and then drag this okay so we cannot see the bottom corner here we can place this or oh, i think it should be here just a little bit above our tax bar okay so this is going to be above our tax bar okay it can cover the tax bar so we should have that and we we'll go around again and then we have the last one which is the left bottom corner just drag this as well just drag this as well and then we we'll let's make sure we place it at the far left corner okay so we can now screw at the top and then make sure the edges everything is placed well if we are okay we can just go ahead and confirm this okay i think i have to drag this side out a bit okay okay i just have to make sure everything is perfect if you are sure of your placement you can hit the enter on your keyboard or just click on the check icon here to confirm this so if you are okay just go back to the zoom so let's zoom and then we are going to now zoom out so hold down the alt key and then we can zoom out and then we can see our placement will be perfect okay you can see now we've been able to place this perfectly onto our screen just as any website will look like when you open it on the laptop so this is how to create your own mock-up and have more tricks coming up you can't miss this you never regret subscribing to my channel so we've been able to create this simple mock-up using our own website so when it, you can use it to represent a website you created for a client and then you can share this with your client so this is how to create your own simple website mock-up in photoshop thank you so much for enjoying this short tutorial like come your way again stay safe and continue to visit my channel and subscribe bye bye